What's going on, people? This is your boy, Ron B, coming to you from DTLA, that's downtown Los Angeles, and welcome to this week's edition of Ron's Rants. Before I get started, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, click on that bell so you can receive notifications each and every week when I upload a new video. And I know some of y'all are going to be asking, what is this week's cocktail? This one is part of the spring and summer collection again, and it's the one I call the Beast Sting. If you want the recipe to this drink and then my many other cocktails, make sure you go out to my other YouTube channel, The Drink Master Ronsabi. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We are here to talk about what is going on right now. This weekend is what we call Juneteenth. And I know y'all out here celebrate, but my question is, you know, have you always celebrated Juneteenth? Or are you new to it? Because I ain't been seeing a whole lot of y'all celebrate Juneteenth. But see, I ain't mad about it. About time for you to get your asses on the bandwagon and celebrate something that celebrates us. Now, I know some of y'all have celebrated for years since you were a little kid. I remember when I was growing up, they used to have a festival. And uh, other cities that I've been to, they, they had festivals and all that good stuff to celebrate Juneteenth. But some motherfuckers ain't never been celebrating Juneteenth. And some even younger motherfuckers don't even know what the fuck Juneteenth is. Now I'm going to give you the clip note version of what the fuck Juneteenth actually is. Since y'all motherfuckers want to celebrate, you need to at least know something. Like Bernie Mac said, make sure you goddamn know stuff. Don't be celebrating shit that you don't know what the fuck it's about. You just motherfucking celebrate. Yeah, so Juneteenth is the day that they say slavery ended. But that's not, the, that's not the actual day slavery ended. Now, slavery had ended a couple of years prior to that. But they had just gotten the word out. So you can actually, really, so basically Juneteenth is, is really when they, they rolled in and said, you know what, fuck, we got to go down here. Because these other motherfuckers, they know slavery didn't end, but they ain't telling these people. So, they still keeping these people bonded in fucking slavery. So, the motherfuckers got two more extra good years of motherfucking slavery work out the people. Because they didn't want to tell them. So, on June 19, 1865, the, you can just basically say the word got out everywhere that slavery had ended. And motherfuckers celebrate. And so black people got to celebrate Juneteenth. And the reason they call it Juneteenth, because they, they you know, we, we like to mesh words together. You know how the fuck we talk. Don't, don't, don't act like it's just me. Y'all know how the fuck we talk. We take words and phrases and mesh them together. So they took June and, the, and 19th and meshed it together and created Juneteenth. So that's how the fuck, because you know we got, that's how we get Juneteenth. Y'all know how we do. We have, we'll take a whole phrase and, and make one word, like both of them. You know, we call that motherfucker both of them. So don't, don't try to trip like y'all don't know. We've been, we've been meshing words together for motherfucking years. We got our own sound, our own motherfucking language. That's what I love about being black. We, we understand, motherfucker. We, we understand. Other motherfuckers might not understand what the fuck we're talking about. But motherfucker, you know what the fuck we're talking about when we say some shit. You might say some shit. Sometimes you might get around your co-workers. You better mess some shit together. You forget where the fuck you at. And they be like, huh, I'm with you. But all your motherfucking black co-workers, the couple of you got, they know what exactly what the fuck you're talking about. So don't try to act like we don't mesh words together. But we're going to jump back on this Juneteenth. Now I'm glad you motherfuckers is finally starting to celebrate. And continue to motherfucking celebrate. You should have been doing it. You should have been in the trenches. And don't, and don't let this be no motherfucking one-time celebration for you because we, our current state of affairs in the country, we protesting and, and fighting for injustice against black people. Don't let, let this always be a celebration for you because this is a very important for us and our ancestors and what they had to fucking deal with because they celebrated. So what you need to do is make sure you celebrate. Educate your kids and shit. Y'all homeschooling them right now. Teach them motherfuckers about Juneteenth. Because see, they ain't even teaching motherfuckers about Juneteenth no more. I saw somebody post that she knew some 20-some-year-olds that didn't know what the hell Juneteenth was. Now, that's a damn shame. 
Because these motherfuckers don't want our history in the fucking curriculum. They think once they give you a pinch of black history in February, that that's all it is to our history. And there's so much motherfucking more to our history. But the only one piece they want to talk about is the slave piece and all that shit. But y'all keep celebrating. You're supposed to celebrate. I saw somebody post some uh, black owned. Make sure y'all uh, support black owned business for June. No, 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 motherfuckers. You need to be supporting black owned regardless. I don't give a fuck what day it is. Don't just celebrate Juneteenth and then go back over to the bullshit to the motherfuckers that ain't thinking about you. Some people say, well, I, don't, I can't celebrate. And, you know, I, I, I try to support black business, but our people won't get together. Well, you guess what, motherfucker? If they won't get it together, help them get it together. When I deal with a black service, if I don't like their motherfucking service or what they provide, I say, hey, pal, let me, come here, player. Let me, let me, let me, let me holler at you. Now, you did X, Y, and Z service for me. I hired your ass to do that. I didn't like the job you done. Now, most of the time, they're going to fix it. And they're going to come back and do it better. Let me give motherfucking hints. Because a lot of our people don't know about owning and starting businesses and shit. So, they, they go on it. They, 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 do, they do it as they motherfucking go. So, if you so motherfucking smart and educated, give a fucking hint. It ain't going to kill you to tell a motherfucker, hey, I see you did this with... with but in the future, if I were you, I wouldn't do X, Y, and Z. Help motherfuckers. See, that's our problem. We don't like to help motherfuckers along the way because we too busy trying to be over here looking and, and, and trying to have the pace of them other motherfuckers that ain't thinking about us in no way. Now, if the motherfucker come back with that service again, you high, and they still full of shit, then guess what? Don't use them no more. But see, when I don't use a black service no more, I go out and find me another black servant that's doing the same motherfucking job and hire them motherfuckers. Because all of our people that are in business ain't bad people. My sister knows when I tell her I need X, Y, and Z, go look up and find me some quotes and shit. She already understands me. She know if it ain't black, I don't want to hear the motherfucking quote. I don't want to. You keep that motherfucker on over there with somebody that give a damn because I don't. They got to be real, 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 real low. If I go with them and, and they not my people. Because I'm going to give my, my people the damn work and the job. Because that's what the fuck I do. So, y'all out here, celebrate. Keep the celebration going. Don't go back to your bullshit. I see, the problem is we want acceptance on bullshit for so long. We, we keep thinking other motherfuckers going to appreciate us. They ain't going to never appreciate us. So that's why we have to do our own thing. We get mad and, 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 and put our kids in these little private schools and shit where there ain't but one or two black people in that motherfucker. Why you got your kids over there? But you think they can't learn shit with other black folks? They can't. But see, that's what that's that whole y'all want to be accepted by motherfuckers that ain't thinking about you. you. Got your kids. Now you got to explain to your kid. Uh, uh, why uh, Susan little uh, okay, she can't uh, she wasn't invited up to the motherfucking sleepover party. Well, you already know why they wasn't motherfucking invited. Tell your kids the motherfucking truth. Sally, mama didn't want no little black kids over there, so you didn't get motherfucking invited. But y'all like they want to be in the community with the motherfuckers and stay next door, and then you're mad because the police are, 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 are riding through and stopping your motherfucking kids and shit. Well, you put your kids out there in that motherfucking atmosphere. You put your kids in, in, in a community that don't appreciate the color of motherfucking skin. All because you, you done got all fucking high class and educated and shit. And now you want to be all, all, uh, Getting away from the people, getting as y'all call it, getting out the hood. I'm about to go live a good life. Is your life really that good when you got motherfuckers trailing you just because you're driving a nice car and mad because you ain't supposed to be in a motherfucking community? And this is why we need Juneteenth. We need to keep Black Excellence Celebration going. Keep that we that we free and we can be our own motherfucking people because that's what the fuck we can do. We are black and we are beautiful and we are some amazing motherfuckers. So go out there, enjoy the festivities, enjoy the art, enjoy the culture, enjoy the music. Because that's what everybody, see, other motherfuckers don't appreciate us unless they can make some money off our art, off our culture, and off of everything and the excellence that we blacks bring to the motherfucking table. Again, they'll come out to the culture, but won't jump in the trenches. 
And that's what you need to be motherfucking mindful of. And this is why Juneteenth. I, I want everybody to make Juneteenth an already a, a celebration. I know some people got mad and, at my post, but I don't give a fuck. I'm going to post what the fuck I want to post. You don't like what the fuck I post. Get off my motherfucking page. You got a couple of motherfucking options for you if you don't like what the fuck I post. That's your motherfucking problem. It ain't none of my motherfucking problem. You don't get to come to my motherfucking page and try to chastise me. I ain't none of your motherfucking kid. So, if you don't like what the fuck I post, you got a couple of motherfucking options. You can motherfucking keep scrolling, unfriend, or block my black ass. Because if you look around, how many fucks do you see up in there that I'm going to give? Zero. So, yeah, keep that same motherfucking energy with you. Some people post it, post about my post. I don't give a damn. Leave people alone. I ain't bothering no motherfucking about it. I'm just trying to see what the fuck is going on. Like, but I, mean, I just want to know what the fuck is going on. Is this your first time? Then motherfucking goddamn I'm welcome. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Welcome. And see, y'all got the... And, and this is why the orange buffoon think he started Juneteenth. Because, see, in the past, there wasn't that much talk about Juneteenth. Juneteenth shouldn't be something that we talk about because we are in the current state of affairs and fighting for, uh, our, our fighting against police brutality and, and Black Lives Matter. We shouldn't be all jumped in and, and, and excited and hurrah about Juneteenth then. We need to be excited and all hurrah about motherfucking Juneteenth every motherfucking year. Not just when something bad is going on. Not when the current state of affairs is raggedy as fuck like it is right now. Because we need to stick together. We need to band together. And that's why the orange buffoon think, oh, people didn't know about Juneteenth. Well, you, well, you know what? He probably thinking, well, I ain't never seen this motherfucker talking about it. I guess I started some. Because you know he'll take credit for anything. And that's the sad part about it. Him and his people have always taken credit for shit that they ain't never had a hand in, but they want credit for it. They'll snatch anything. They'll take any idea that we have put together and snatch it and make it their own. Thieves always have been, always motherfucking will be. So y'all keep the Juneteenth party going. Celebrate. And again, like I said, if you mad with me, I don't give a damn. You, you, you want me to, uh, don't want me, don't like my post, well, keep motherfucking scrolling. You can come in and say some bullshit if you want to, but you already know, I'm going to light that ass up. Poo y'all. I keep some fire and gas and heat with me. So, if you come in with some bullshit, I'm, I welcome it. And, but see, for me, I ain't going to be motherfucking mad. Because you got lit up. You going to be mad at me, but I ain't going to be mad at me. I can still speak to your ass. You don't speak to me. Okay. Deuces. Carry the fuck on. Leave people alone. That's what somebody told me. Leave these people alone. Let them. No, I ain't bother no motherfucking body. Like I said, if this your first time or you've been doing it for many motherfucking years, welcome. We want you to be out here celebrating Juneteenth. Make sure y'all are being safe out there. We doing a, a Juneteenth during the motherfucking pandemic. Don't get out there without the mask on. Put your motherfucking mask on and practice social distancing. Don't get out there thinking because it's hot in some places and you ain't got to put your mask on because it's Juneteenth. Because it's Juneteenth, you got to think you got motherfucking uh, special black motherfucking power. You ain't got no motherfucking special black motherfucking power that's going to keep you from this motherfucking corona. Because the stats show they, they, they taking us out more than they're taking other motherfuckers out. So don't be that motherfucking person where you out here thinking you invincible because it's Juneteenth. And you ain't got no mask on. You ain't got no motherfucking hand sanitizer. And you all up on, motherfucker. Leave some room. Leave some motherfucking room. Get up off me. Don't be up on people. But enjoy yourself. Enjoy the culture. And dive. Take a deep dive in. Take your kids and teach them some shit. Don't let them have to learn the little snippet about our culture based upon the little bullshit they teach in the classroom. Somebody need to create a damn Black History and Juneteenth app or some shit to teach us what the fuck we need. Because we're going to need it. Because school might not be back in this fall. And we're going to need an app to teach our history. You got your kids at your house now. Now you get to change the curriculum a little bit to, to let them know what they need to know about our history and about how we celebrate our great blackness and being black in the culture. But that's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to bother y'all too much. I just want y'all motherfuckers to be great. And again, if you're going to, like I said, do your research on Juneteenth. Because like I said, I gave you a quick cliff note version. 
And I want y'all to go out there and learn all about it and keep it celebrated. We need to celebrate so hard that they make it a full national holiday across the board where people can be off work and everything. It's already a holiday, but it ain't no federal holiday. We need to push to make it a federal holiday where you can be off. You ain't got to use your PTO. You can just use your holidays so we can, you can be off to celebrate the black excellence that we bring. Well, that's all I got for y'all. Again, y'all make sure y'all be safe out there in them streets. Again, this has been your boy Ron Zabi. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Click on that bell so you can receive notifications each and every week when I upload a new video. Make sure you share, like, and comment with me in the comment section. And remember, your comments or your posts just might become one of Ron's friends. Y'all be good. I gotta do some good. Peace out.